Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to show you how to make this little fox lovey. Right. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for how to make this blanket. I use the star um, blanket. There's also the hexagon ones a bit easier. So today we're just going to make the head and the ears. All you need is some stuffing, a 3mm hook, some scissors, a yarn needle, and some cotton yarn in orange, white, and black. To start, you want to take your black cotton yarn, make a slip knot, and chain two. Right. Go back into the first chain that you made and make six single crochets. Pull the tail tight. Now go into the first single crochet you made. And make a slip stitch. Right, it's really hard to see in black but now we want to change to white so once you've done your slip stitch put the white yarn over your hook and chain one okay now with the white attached you need to make just six single crochets so one in each of the stitches you've made so go back into where you did the slip stitch single crochet that's one one in the next stitch just one in each stitch Right now I have six around. It'll just start to curl up on itself. And I just want to make a slip stitch into the first white one that we made. Alright, if you find this too difficult, you can always do both of these rows in white. And then at the end, you can just um, thread some black through to make the nose. So I'm just going to stop and I'm going to knot these two black ends together. I knotted the two ends together and I cut the yarn. Now we want to increase from 6 to 12. So two single crochets in each stitch. Right.
and that is our slip stitch so just ignore that one so I have 12 single crochets around I just need to do one row of 12 single crochets okay once we've increased so skip over your slip stitch Okay, so once you've done increase from 6 to 12 and you do one row of 12 single crochets, we need to increase to 18. One single crochet in the first stitch and one increase in the second stitch. One single crochet and one increase. Alright, so just do that all the way along. And then I'll show you how it looks. All right, this is how it looks after I've increased to 18. So this is this piece here. So I'm going to slip stitch to the next stitch in here. And I'm going to change to my orange color. So I put the yarn over the hook and I chain one. Alright, now we need to increase to 24. So I'm going to go back into the same stitch that I slip stitched into. One single crochet, one single crochet in the next stitch, and one increase. All right, two single crochets and an increase. Right now I'm back at the start. I'm going to slip stitch to this first one here. The first orange one that we made. All right, now that we have 24 single crochets around, we need to increase to 30. So I'm going to go back into the sit stitch that we slip stitched into and I make two single crochets.
Okay, so one increase and three single crochets. One increase and three single crochets. Just do that all the way along. Okay, now we've increased to 30. You just want to skip over that slip stitch, go back into the first stitch there, and you need to increase to 36. Right, single crochet four. And one increase. So four single crochets and one increase all the way around. Okay, now that I'm back at the start and I've increased to 36, I'm just going to stop the video here and do five rows of 36. Okay, and I'll come back and show you how it looks. All right, so this is how it looks after my five rows of 36. The next row we need to do is to decrease from 36 down to 30. single crochet four and then one decrease so I go through the front loop of the first stitch the front loop of the second stitch yarn over pull through yarn over pull through Okay, so four single crochets and a decrease all the way around. Show you one more. Front loop, front loop of the next one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two.
All right, so now that we've decreased to from 36 to 30, you just want to do one row of 36, just one single crochet in each row. I mean, in each stitch, all the way until you get back to the start. So I'll just do that and come back. Okay, so we decreased from 36 to 30 and then did one row of single crochet around. And the next row we need to decrease from 30 to 24. So it's single crochet three and a decrease. Three single crochets and a decrease all the way around. Now that I've decreased to 24, we now need to decrease to 18. So two single crochets and a decrease all the way around. All right, so we have 18 stitches. In the next row, we need to decrease to 12. One single crochet. And one decrease all the way around. One single crochet. And one decrease. Okay, so you can stuff it when you get to 18 stitches or 12, whichever you prefer. So I'm just going to finish this row. Alright, so I decreased to 12 and I've stuffed it. The last row you just need to decrease each stitch. So it's 6 decreases. This row can be a bit fiddly. Okay, once you've decreased to six, you want to cut the yarn. I'm going to leave a long tail so I can attach it to the blankie. Pull it through.
and then you just need to close out this hole. So you just go through the front loop of each stitch. and pull it tight. Okay. okay, to make your ears, you need to take your black yarn. I'm going to show you in light gray so you can actually see the stitches. But take your black yarn, make a slip knot, uh, chain two. Okay. Six single crochets in the first chain that you made. Okay, pull the tail tight. In the next row, you just want to put one single crochet in each stitch, so just six single crochets around. In the next row, you want to increase from six single crochets to eight. So make one increase in the first stitch. And then single crochet two. Okay, so you want to do that twice. And it will take you back to the start. One increase. And single crochet two. Okay, so now we have eight single crochets around. I'm going to slip stitch to the next stitch. And I'm going to change to the orange. Okay, chain one. Okay, then I'm going to go back into this one that I slip stitched into. I'm going to do one increase, single crochet three. Okay, this will make it so you go from 8 single crochets to 10. One increase. Single crochet 3. Right, that's our slip stitch, so we just ignore that one and go back into this orange one. So we want to increase from 10 single crochets to 12. So 
one increase. Single crochet four. One increase. And single crochet four. All right, I'm going to cut this yarn. And just knot it off okay so I knotted my two ends off um, cut the yarn and hid them inside so we have 12 single crochets around we need to increase to 14 so one increase Single crochet five. So one increase and single crochet five. the next row you want to increase to 16 you should have 14 there yep so one increase single crochet six Another increase and single crochet six. All right, now that we have sixteen single crochets, we need to increase to eighteen. So one increase and single crochet seven. All right, one increase. And single crochet seven. Okay. And then the only other thing you want to do is slip stitch to the next stitch. And then cut your yarn as long as you need it to stitch it to the head all right so i've already stitched one on and i started at this corner and i went back eight rows eight rows are from the orange so one two three four five six seven eight and i stitched it on there's no stuffing inside these ears and then I push the center back 
stitch that back a little bit further. Okay. And there is about two stitches between the ears. You can do it further apart if you need to. And the only other thing you need to do once you've stitched the ears on is do the eyes. So for these ones, I went up one stitch and then across one stitch and then straight across the last one. Okay, and there's about three stitches in between the eyes at the bottom. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.